A rusty, crusty, dusty, musty pinball machine smells like your grandma's 100-year-old basement. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. What's going on today, boys and girls? Um, more pinball adventures as usual. Actually, I just met with uh, Dan Shattuck, who came to uh, potentially buy a machine off me. Uh, I actually took a video of it, I just haven't posted it yet. But uh, I advertised the machine as a rusty, crusty, dusty, musty pinball machine. Smells like your grandma's 100-year-old basement. So he came to look at it. He came uh, a while back to look at my black hole major project and uh, I scared him off of that one. So it was probably a good thing. Russell is taking that on. Actually on a side note, Russell from London is taking on the major black hole project like it is major. And he's going to document it apparently. So I'm actually looking forward to checking that out. So once I know more about that, I'll uh, keep you posted. I can include some links or whatever, but that may be happening in the fairly near future. So I scared Dan off of the black hole. He come to look at the rusty, dusty, crusty, musty, shitty pinball machine and uh, scared him off with that one as well. But uh, he ended up I did a video on a sure shot not that long ago and I kind of wanted to uh, cycle it through the collection but he was there and I offered him the sure shot and uh, he ended up taking that with him instead so uh, I actually have someone who's definitely interested in the uh, the crusty machine so I guess I kill two birds with one stone in a sense anyway that happened now I'm going over to Kevin's I'm going to deliver some LEDs to him, 100 of them, and more importantly, going to check out his Gilligan's Island shipwreck project. And I got a couple photos, was it yesterday, of his progress on the cabinet, <coughs> pardon me, and man, that guy works fast. He's got, I think, think all the cabinet decals installed and painted and the cabinet all worked and sanded and you know so just gonna take a peek at that while we're there and uh, yeah so we'll see you over there all right we've arrived what have you been up to you sent yeah I've commented a couple times how fast you work and uh I think, Boom. <laughs> I think once it gets rolling, it kind of goes pretty quick. Yeah, like, yeah, once you, like, get started, it's just, like, the motivation kind of just ro no, steamrolls, I guess. But, yeah, man, you uh, friggin' steamrolled the crap out of this thing. What did you all do to this? Uh, so, and the, it was rough. So, it started with replacing the bottom piece of the head. Oh, right, yeah. Like fixing all the chips and all the bangs and all the scratches and all the pieces that were missing. So, so you like use Bondo and stuff for that? Yeah, lots of fiberglass, lots of huh. Bondo. And then painted it. And then, although the blue is not quite right, 99% of it's covered, so it doesn't really matter. Right. So I'm still waiting. You mean like the, the blue of the well, outside matching the blue of the inside? Yeah, but yep. that's going to have... Uh, side blades and stuff anyway, uh so. yeah right I so i think but, anyone really matters no i don't think so normally i do lots of powder coating but didn't know what color to pick and since these are nicely brand new oh right rails, so brand I, new side rails so i figured i just put the, the stainless back on nice cool yeah um it looks friggin amazing and it was nice that the decals actually came with did the I'm not sure where the decals came from. They're kind of normally the ones that I get. They have lots of clay. Right. These ones had zero. A lot on top and well, on top maybe not very much on the bottom. Right. Um, so there's not much room to work with. Like nothing on the ends really, and the front kind of bummed a little bit. Oh yeah. Because it looks like it's. Oh yeah, it does look like that. But 
It just because the way the rope goes. Yeah, but if I would have straightened it, it would have been missing the corner in the corner. Oh, uh, okay. So, there was, this is like basically where it sat. Yeah, so, yeah, I can see what you mean, but uh, oh, well. it's a million times better than it was. It looks awesome. I, I actually think it's great. Um, I wonder, yeah, where the cat with the decals did come from. I'll slip around to this side. Because I don't imagine there's, I don't know, a lot of companies making them, so you kind of just got to... I, uh, get what I was, you get. I was looking for mods for plastics for everything, and it's really hard to find. Oh, um, so should I uh, score out Gilligan's eyes to? There you go to match what it's <laughs> for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. This brand new side rails look nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tricks on the back. Yeah. Look at all that. I just sandblasted a bunch of the stuff. So. Oh, did you? So uh, okay, so how was it uh, replacing this bottom piece? It's this piece that yep. you you did a new one, right? Yeah. So, so it looks like you had a bunch of holes to make yeah, for so the hinges and hardware, and I drilled all that stuff out to match the old. Yeah. Put it all together, and then I stripped everything out, so I have to stay pulling all the ground straps. Oh out right. Stuff, so yeah, there's a a lot involved just in the head. Yeah. Hardware alone, eh? Cool. Yeah, I should, uh, should move along pretty quickly. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's see. Uh, that's nice. Uh, good colors on the mm -hmm. art decals. Cool. You, uh, you've done a good job. Mm. I like it a lot. Yeah. Let's check out the other side. Cool. So what's, uh, what's, uh, next um, on the, uh, to-do list then? I end up polishing all the Ooh. legs and everything, so they're all looking. That looks nice. How did you do that? Yeah, just steel wool. Oh, that's basically oh, that, that's, eh? That's the quad. The quad zero. Yeah. So they were kind of crappy. Now they're. Do you use like water or anything, or just straight up? Just straight. And you did that with this too? Uh, that was a little bit. This one's kind of crappy because somebody welded this. Oh, did they? So I think I'm probably gonna. Oh it. yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, it's so, hardly noticeable though. Yeah. Yeah. But it's we'll, we'll probably see. better than it was. Oh, it is for sure. <laughs> yeah, those clean up but, really nice. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to even throw them. Yeah. I was looking at buying new ones and then I clean those up so they... Yeah. Nice, so. Yeah, those are totally doable. Yeah. Right on, right on. Where did the play field go? The uh, play field is around behind when I painted it, so... Not much has gotten done to it yet. Uh, okay, let's look at it just for fun. Have you uh, started buying anything for? Uh, I've been it, doing a lot of searching. Yeah, just kind really, of see what's out there. It's not that easy to find. Yeah, another one of those like Popeye, right? There's just not a whole lot out there for this. Well, even Popeye could find like plastic sets and stuff. Actually, Marco did have a plastic set for this. Oh yeah. Um, but I want to get like new decals for here. I need a insert kit yeah that'll be ministry of pinball did have a set oh, okay ministry of pinball i think i've ordered from them before cool man oh so this is the the guts yeah, the gilligan's guts yeah that is uh i forgot i already had the nv ram so that's a bonus right on so, yeah. well there's their gilligan's island update it's coming along all right, cool, man. Thanks for the tour.